Hello, uh, John here. I'm going to show you how to map samples to a MIDI keyboard through GarageBand on a Mac. So here we go. You have to have a WAV file, sample, whatever you want to put on the keyboard. And uh, right now we have two WAV files and uh, an MP3 file. So we got to rename that. So what you got to do is rename it to WAV instead of mp3 and it goes automatic like that so you say use wav and then boom it's wav so all right here we go we have an empty project we'll start that baby up and we're going to use a midi keyboard so create and right now i'm using the midi keyboard that is an akai mpk mini and i'm going to show you how to map it I'm a little rough at this, but uh, for those who want to learn how to do it, it's kind of hard to learn. And uh, it's kind of hard to find, not learn, but like you'll get the hang of it, no worries. So right now we're at a vintage piano setting. And we're gonna change that right here to AU sampler. We'll go to stereo. And um, just kick in there, yep. And right now we have a keyboard here. You can adjust all kinds of interesting stuff on there but right now we're gonna go to this little keyboard there so right now it has a sine 440 built in so that's the kind of like a xylophone sort of thing and we're gonna add our samples right here with that little black gear add samples and my samples are right here, so we're gonna go for the hell yes W A V. So we got the hell yes. Hell, hell yes. So this one's playing at the same time because you have the sign 440 still on. So you have to take that, sorry, take that and minus it. Okay, I don't know why she's not doing it today, but okay, there we go, minus it. So we got the hell yes working. Hell. And we're going to map it to the C4 key for now. So right now it has here to there. So minus C1, C minus 1 is to G9. So C4 and C4. So that is going to be right on that C4 key and in that octave. So here we go. So all the other keys that I'm hitting won't play it Hell yes. but the C4 will play it so here we go to oh man I wish I knew music a little bit better <laughs> but this one uh, is C4 yes. right A B C D this should be D5 maybe I don't know let's find out so we'll put this next one in we're gonna put it in. so we're gonna put Jeffin in and right now, it's all over the it's all over the keyboard, right? Let's see, now I want to put it A B C D. Is it a D four? Let's see if it's a D four. Okay, D four. Okay, capital D four to D4. I'm not too sure if it's, that's how it is, but we'll find out. It is, so that is a D4. I'm learning the keyboard. Never too late to learn. So that's what we have, C4 and D4. And now I'm gonna put one more in and we have the, mm hmm oh yeah. This is just quick little samples that I made up. See, it still plays at the same time. So we're gonna go to mm -hmm. oh, yeah. B, B3, I think. Yeah, let's try that, B3. All right, is it B3? I don't know, we'll find out. So I'm gonna put, B3. Uh, maybe. Maybe it has to be a capital. So let's just. You never know. Computers 
love to dick around. B4. No, I didn't want... Okay, so I don't know my keyboards. I failed music <laughs> in school. All right. So I'm going to find this bad boy. C sharp 4. How about that? Well, let's put it a C sharp 4. Okay, so put the capital C, and then you put your pound sign in for the sharp. C sharp 4. And we'll put C sharp 4. Oh, C sharp 4. And boom, it's right there. So that's it. So that's how you map a keyboard with samples. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's a little rough. It's my first time, and I'm relatively new to a Mac. So uh, I hope you have fun and uh, enjoy your time making whatever you want to make. You can do whatever you want with this stuff. Have fun, guys. See you around.